morning hey guys welcome back to Kirky's kitchen uh today we're going to be making sourdough bread super easy to make so let's go ahead and do it to it okay first things first let's go over our starter real quick uh this starter is 22 years old that's older than some of y'all watching this but uh you have to have a starter for sourdough bread because this right here gives it the taste of sourdough bread uh, this is very simple to do, um, but you need to feed it weekly or every two weeks at the maximum. So whenever you feed this, you're going to take out a cup of this mixture. You need to shake it up really good. And you're going to take and pour out a cup of this, or you're going to use a cup of it. And then you'll need to feed it. And I'll show you how to feed it later on in the video. All right, so how are we going to make our starter? Um, first off, you're going to need you a, a jar, a ring, and a seal or lid. You're going to need just a small amount of yeast, sugar, and potato flake. These are just regular old potato flakes that don't have no butter in them. Just plain old potato flakes. Let's keep them in a jar. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to mix up one cup of lukewarm water, a half a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of potato flakes. This first time that you make it, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of this yeast. Not much, it's a quarter of a teaspoon. All right, you're gonna give it a really good shake. Whenever you take and leave it out on the counter, you need to leave it out on the counter for 12 hours before you refrigerate this. But since you're starting your starter, it's gonna be a little bit different. After you take and mix everything up in here, you lightly, just lightly kiss that lid to the top of your jar. It will blow up. Give it a good shake up. You're gonna leave it on the counter here for 12 hours. After 12 hours, you need to take out a half a cup of your mixture and just throw it down the drain. And then you're gonna feed it again. One cup lukewarm water, half a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of potato flakes. We will not be using any more yeast. So that's out of the equation. So you need to kind of keep this up for the next four or five days. The longer you can go, the better off it is before you use it your first time. I would probably say at least five days every day doing exactly what we just talked about take a half a cup out but you might have to take a little extra out because you really don't want it any higher than this in your jar so just always keep it right in this area especially after you take and feed it um always keep it out always keep the lid just barely very very lightly touching it and we'll keep it out after your week's over with um go ahead and do it one more time go ahead and feed it one more time let it sit out 12 hours and then put it in the refrigerator and it's ready to use after that. Now this right here will get better over time. Like I say, I was blessed with one of my good buddies. His wife and him have been making sourdough for a long time. His is 22 years old, so that stuff's old, but it's really tasty. All right, I hope that helps you with your starter. Okay, to make your sourdough bread, we're gonna need seven cups of bread flour. Uh, don't skip on a bread flour. You can't use regular flour on this recipe. It has to be bread flour. All right, we're gonna need half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one half a cup of corn oil, one half cups of hot water, and one cup of the starter. Hooked, hooked up to it, so let's let it go. Alright, once it's mixed up really good, we're going to take and spray our bowl. We're going to take and put our dough in the center of it. And we're going to take and use our towel and put it over on top of it. Okay, once you have your towel on top of it, we're going to set it in the oven. Close the door. We're gonna take and turn on the light. That's all you're gonna do. All right, this right here needs to sit for about 12 hours. So it'll be about four o'clock in the morning. I ain't gonna wake up at four o'clock in the morning, so it might as well say six o'clock. Okay, so our first 12 hours proofing is done. As you can see, this sucker has absolutely risen. Let's go ahead and try to get it out of here. One hand, there it goes. Put it on the table here. As you can see, it's like, quadrupled in size, so that's really good. We know that our starter is really healthy. 
Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grease our pans. I use lard. The lard's gonna give this one pretty crust to it, like a golden brown crust. So I just get me a little bit on the napkin, and I just take and start adding it to it. And you wanna grease these very well, uh, because this bread's going to expand everywhere that you can think of in these pans. So just make sure you grease them really good. All right, once you get your pans all greased up, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start working our dough. Right, let's get our dough out here. Like I said, it's this quadrupled in size. All right, so we're gonna work this really good. Once you get it worked out really good, we're gonna take separate this into three pieces. Just gonna have to eyeball it. All right, once you get your pieces uh, cut out, just go ahead and start rolling them up. Once they're pretty much all evil, we're gonna go ahead and roll these out. We're gonna make them into like a big yeast roll. <laughs> yes, yeah, a big yeast roll. When you get it rolled out like that right there, go ahead and put it in the center of your pan and repeat this step for the other two. Okay, I have these laid out on the table here so I can show you uh, without losing any of the heat that we have in the oven from the light. You wanna space these out that right there is an inch on me, so we're gonna say about two inches away from each other because when these grow, they grow really tall and really wide and you don't want your, uh, your bread touching each other. Another thing is whenever you put them into your oven, we're gonna lay a towel all the way across of it like this. All right, this has got to proof for another 12 hours. After that 12 hours, we gotta quickly open up the, the lid of the stove pull off your tail, and then go ahead and crank the heat up to 350 degrees for 30 minutes. You can't lose none of your heat in your oven or these will fall. Uh, so we can get these in the oven right now. We'll see you in 12 hours. All right, I got it set for 350. Let's go ahead and pull out a towel real quick, shut our door. Set for 30 minutes, so that's gonna include your preheat. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. All right guys, 30 minutes went by. I already took them out of the oven. I uh, put them on a cooling rack here and took them out of the baking pans. I probably say let them cool for about 30 minutes uh, and then enjoy. And now that they're cooled, I got these two right here bagged up. I traded these for uh, 24 duck eggs. So I, I don't really care a whole lot for bread. This is really good bread though. I'd rather have some duck eggs, but uh, I got one more in the microwave. All right, I'm sure that she's gonna make a dish with this this afternoon. She usually uses a lot of butter and a type of jelly that we make. Uh, we'd have all kinds of different jellies up here, plum, Blackberry, blueberry, cherry, we got all kinds. But uh, we'll see you here in just a little bit. Right, I guess I'm gonna make me a little bit of toast this morning. <clears throat> I got me some cherry jelly I made in 2019. I got some butter and I got a loaf of our sourdough here. Let's go ahead and cut this open. All right, now that I got my bread toasted, I went ahead and smeared on our cherry jelly that we made like I said in 2019 and I also put a little bit of extra butter here to the top I got me two duck eggs here a little bit sunny side up and I got me two nice pieces of liver mush over here as well can't beat liver mush right, let's try out that toast first it's 
really good. I'm not a big bread guy, but that right there is good. Hi right, guys, if you like what you see, hit the like, subscribe button. Let me know if you have any interesting things you want to say in the comments or any kind of future episodes. I appreciate you coming by and I hope you have a good and safe week. We'll talk to you later.